to the shop. It's uh, Monday morning. Oh, and what a Monday morning. It was hard to get out of bed today. Anyway, I did get to come here to work on this. But before I did, uh, stopped off, picked up this ball joint separator. We're going to uh, try the different style. Instead of beating on it to death, try the power of leverage. It's the goal for the day. Anything else beyond that is gravy. Okay, so I've gotten several of these off already and thought I'd take the chance to show you how this new fancy expensive tool works. So you put it in here and it presses down between that and the top of the bolt that hold the, held the crown nut um, or a castellated nut, that's the other word and uh, tighten up the screw and it pushes it until it pops and it scares the hell out of you and it's separated. So let's uh, tighten her up. I have on our, our safety glasses, a glass shield. And just slowly tighten it up. Let leverage do the work. Always worry I'm going to break the tool right when it's about to pop. I don't want to do that. There it goes. It pops off of there. Then you can reuse the ball joint and everything. Anyway, one more done. Well, it's a little bit after lunchtime, and I did it. I got this suspension off. These are the uh, A arms and rotors and wheel bearings, axles and stuff. This is the um, the uh, steering shaft. Um, this is the big thing that uh, one of the big things that uh, Ralph Nader didn't like. This long shaft pointing at the driver's chest, in case there was an accident that. Uh, Head on, uh, that goes right towards your chest. Um, anyway, uh, that and, and wingtails. Lots of rusted parts. Um, these little spacer things, this one's just like rotted away. I don't know, it's like super light. I don't know if it's aluminum or uh, like pop metal, but uh, it's just, it's just nasty. It's, it's, corroded and eaten away and the, the other one is pretty good besides the fact that there's a bolt you know stuck in there it's moving it's just I haven't knocked it out yet anyway whole lots of parts off whole lot of weight off now so I can my next plan is clean up a bit put away my tools and then I'm gonna raise up raise the car up on the rotisserie now that it's uh, yeah, probably 100 pounds lighter. Um, raise it up on the rotisserie, spin it around. Um, <laughs> I'm sure when I flip it upside down, there's gonna be all sorts of dust and junk that falls out of it. Then, once it's up, I'm gonna start looking at replacing these uh, outriggers. That's the, f the first step. But uh, there, there's a few wires and like the fuel line and stuff still on the car, but uh, for the most part, it's all stripped down. Um, from here on, uh, here on, it's it's building it back up. So this is this is the low point, if you will.
How about that? Found it. Marble fell out of it. Wonder where that was hiding. There's not many places to hide. Anyway, as you can see, that's gonna be a lot easier to access where I need to be to do what I need to do. Especially since the lower 20% is all rotted away. This gets it up to a good height. You can flip it around so I can weld, you know, straight up and down, not overhead. Cool, it worked. Remember this outrigger? And this leaf spring that wouldn't come off? I'm gonna cut it off. This is the replacement for it. <laughs> it looks so much stronger than the other one. Hmm. Anyway, I'm just gonna nip it off here so I can get this out of the way. I thought you might wanna watch. Well, it's the end of the day. I decided to uh, do some cutting and um, kind of got this in place. I marked it down here with tape, 25 centimeters from, from the edge here, so I know it goes back on. There is a uh, rust underneath. It just seems to be where inside the, the outrigger, so I'm gonna cut that out tomorrow. I'm also going to replace this because there was rust in there. Clean this all up. Weld this on. Fill a patch here. Um, but I got to go buy some sheet steel. Luckily, the hardware store has it. At least last time I checked. So, progress. If you like this video, click the like button below. If you want to come along on the ride as we complete this project, click the subscribe button. If you want to make sure Google reminds you every time there's a new video, click the alarm bell. Your support is very much appreciated.